I've got 10 feeder pigs. And I've got one acre of woods. I'm starting a pig farm. This is us setting up an ideal setup. Did I say setup too much? Let's get our tools. Actually, before we go to the field, we need to train the pigs to my electric fence. What's this, my man? The winch. Bucket hanging down. Uh, you got a fort up there? Yeah. Show us how it works. That's pretty cool, man. You stand on that, what we're gonna do is just zigzag it back and forth on each other. You can hear it grounding out. Well, they, they know this. It may be trained in that. Yeah, they won't go near it. Yeah, they've been trained in that. I thought they'd been trained to wire, but I didn't know they were trained in that. They know that net. Now in the field, first before water. While we're out here, do we have any seeds coming up for our new pasture? Oh gosh, we do. Look, can you see it? I bet you can see it here. I hope you can see that. That's a beautiful sight. We got pasture coming in. We got to the end. We'll have to go hose the rest of the way. The pig glen's just right there. Next up, our one acre glen. It's perfect. It's forested. It's not too steep. One acre is good for 10 pigs. We need to divide it into 12 paddocks. This is basically a rectangled glen. So we're gonna do two sizes of six. We're gonna measure each length, divide it by six, and then put the flags down. It's looking good, my man. You're getting it nice and cleared right through there. He's working on clearing our middle rung right through the woods. See how there's a path right through there? And then there's not path. The sun is going down. I feel like if we get, oh, well, now I got, I got to do a path through here. One path right through there would allow us then to set up a paddock. All we need is one paddock. And if we get that done, I think we can get the pigs out in the morning, which is the goal. Well, it's the next day. We did it. We got the paddock set, well, cleared. Now we've got to set it up. Here's the hoping. We fixed all our water line issues yesterday. Well, that's frozen. Well, we're gonna have to test that later. Pigs don't sweat. So ideally, we're gonna put them in a forest situation where it's nice and cool. We're gonna stock them in a regenerative way. We're not gonna to put too many per acre. So 10 per acre. Now we're gonna imagine it's broken down into 12 little paddocks. Now we're only gonna do one, two paddock at a time and then just move the paddocks. That means we can keep our pigs in one paddock for a week and then move them out and we don't return to that first paddock for 84 days. For pigs, that's the rest and sanitation it needs. I've set up what I call a source fence. That <laughs> source fence connects to our energizer here and we build off of that. Jonah's calling me, having trouble milking Flossie. What's going on, Jonah? I milked all three good teats. And? I didn't milk the bad one yet. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? What's so hard? I don't know. Huh? She was, she was not acting nice for me though. Good morning, Good beautiful morning. one. Water. What you got here? It's just water in my pants. And who do we have here? This is Emily Tapes. Hey. She owns Tapes and Co. The amazing skincare. This is your secret to the, the beautiful one. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> This is the this secret. Is the skincare from Tooth & Co. We are back. We've, and we've got our 
paddock set up and we've got some help. Let's do a final check, make sure nothing's hitting the fence. Got the tractor hooked up. We're ready to go. Well, we're gonna have to check the water, but we got training right now, and then we'll do it. We got the trailer ready. You pigs, you ready? You're hungry. We haven't fed you yet. We are there. You guys ready for this? This is an exciting moment. They're crowding up at the entrance. The bucket, the pan has come down. I don't want to get in there and get it and pull it up because I'm going to scare somebody and they're going to jump right through the fence and destroy it. So we're just taking our time. Hopefully they find this other bucket up here. But oh, look, if they pushed it under, I can grab it. Look, I can get it going up here. Oh, there, threw it in the woods. Let them get up there. Just take our time. It feels like we gotta hurry, but we just gotta relax and take our time. They're going in the forest. They don't even care about the feed pan. Love it. Let's continue to move them up. I'll drop some feed on the ground. Jonah carefully bring that fence over. Holy smokes. They love it. Look at them. We got some eating the grain. We got some digging and exploring. Ah, oh, that makes my heart sing. Ten, <laughs> ten pigs in the woods. I am so excited about that. We've started a farm. Hey, we've started a pig farm. Yes. There's something so right about this right now. <laughs> 